Okay, I guess we're online now. Hello, Hello everybody. everyone. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, thank you for uh, for being here with us, and we're also very happy to be here. My name is uh, Jia Wei. I'm the team lead of uh, team costing and pricing at Shinda. Hello, also from my side. My name is Ershan Eroglu. I am uh, responsible for the sourcing and purchasing of mechanical parts and doors globally. So welcome and thanks for joining. Welcome. All right, and let's not waste uh, any more time. Let's go straight into the presentation. Good. So first of all, uh, just let me quickly go through the content with all of you. Uh, it's basically in three blocks. So first, we want to tell you our, our stories, our achievements, projects, uh, our development. And then the second part is our teams. So we're going to my team and also Erzgang's team to introduce you what uh, in which teams are we working and what are our missions, let's say. And then as the last part, um, our offers. So what you can expect from joining this, uh, this development program with us in our company. And then last but not least, uh, the questions that we will answer one by one as much as we can. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So let's see the, the recent achievements, especially in, um, uh, around our plant in Slovakia, is uh, we have built uh, around one and a half meter from our uh, plant, the biggest uh, elevator consolidation of logistics center in, in Europe. So you see the size of it. So we were not only thinking huge and big, we were also quite fast. So it means from the idea till the finishing and the filling the, the warehouse, it took us less than nine months from building a complete new building. And you see also on the right side, we act sustainable. We try to be green. We optimize our, um, uh, our trucks up to the rooftop top with a, a new packaging concept, which allowed us to reduce the CO2 emissions by more than 25%. So you can see it's uh, being successful and being green and sustainable uh, goes hand in hand. Thank you. Exactly. So here you see still a, a, sh a short video about uh, the warehouse we were just seeing before. So Chiwai, can you please uh, start the video? So you see it very briefly, the huge size we're talking about nearly 30,000 square meters and the height of uh, 13 meters. And it's completely occupied by, uh, by Schindler. And you see uh, right in the background, you see also uh, our mechanical plant in, in Slovakia. Quite impressive. So it takes quite a time till the drone finishes the complete length of the, of the, of the warehouse. That's quite some kilometers, huh? Yes, it is. It is. So here you see also around it, it's still uh, uh, not completely green because we were completely uh, still in the construction phase. Thank you. Okay. Good. So coming to the business, so what are the projects, strategic uh, imperatives that we are planning to do this year, next year? So three main topics that we want to mention here. The first one is the car decoration to insource it. So what does that mean? That means uh, car, so for us, is the elevator cabin. And we have, of course, different kinds of uh, decorations that we offer for the customer, customizations, and we want to do it now in source. That means we want to, instead of uh, buying it or uh, getting it from the supplier, we want to do it ourselves. So that means when it takes it all, we want to uh, do it ourselves now. Um, the second one is to change the logistics network. So as you can imagine, we are shipping, or we are um, transporting elevators around the world, and we want to make sure that we have the most efficient way to deliver so it's still hot and fresh when it gets to you. Uh, third one, to optimize our supplier management. So we have also many suppliers that we need to manage and we need to uh, uh, collaborate, and uh, we want to make sure that we have the best collaboration that in the end, it's benefit, it's making money for both of us, not just for us, also for our suppliers that we are both profitable and that we grow sustainably together. So here's to show you um, our plant in Slovakia. So the growth 
I say our turnover has uh, grown significantly from 2017 to now. It's a 230% growth. So that's quite impressive. We're growing and that is why also we're here to introduce ourselves to you and to, uh, to get your attention, to get your interest that this is a company that is growing and we see a big future in this plan. So let me briefly explain you how our European network looks like. As, um, as mentioned before, we have uh, our biggest logistics center uh, in Slovakia. Then we have further two, one in Spain, in Saragossa, and another one in, uh, in Germany, uh, with the sizes you, which you see on the left. Um, then going to our internal uh, manufacturing plants, we have uh, two plants in Switzerland, so one close to Lucerne, another one in the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland, means in Locarno. And of course, we have DSW, our main mechanical plant, uh, which you see also in Slovakia. And uh, the products, as, as mentioned, Locarno in, in Switzerland is mainly focused on electronic components. Uh, Abicon is mainly uh, concentrated on drives. Uh, and, and special cabins for high-rise projects. And uh, our plant in, in Slovakia is also specialized on uh, mechanical components uh, with high volume, with high automatization and high complexity. Thank mm -hmm. you. So that was uh, about the company, our uh, stories that we want to share. And now come to coming to the second part, we want to introduce you to our teams. So my team and uh, Özkan's team. So for my team, there's a video that I would like to show you. Wow, that feels good. She's an elevator. Good touch. Hello, Chao, Nihao. My name is Jiao Wei Zhang. Jiao Wei is my first name. So please stop calling me Jia. I'm not just a seat. Jiao Wei together is my first name. So I'm the pricing and costing manager at uh, Supply Chain Europe. I'm the successor of Luca Martin. People that I work with, um, besides the many interfaces in the company, Charles Pascal, that's my uh, leader. And I have uh, six people that I uh, manage in my team. What I expect from my stakeholders is three things. First, um, empowerment to drive changes. Second, um, lean mindset to establish lean mindset for operational excellence. Third, to have freedom in our actions. And that includes accountability and full ownership. Together with my team, we manage the pricing operation with our stakeholders, customers, business partners, as well as to drive uh, continuous cost optimization, reduction, and to make the company profitable. What I want to achieve together with my team is that we could establish processes that we could bring visible results and that we are able to drive direct business impact for our stakeholders. So uh, that was not that was not me. That was my twin sister. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I hope that gave you uh, a bit of a, a big picture of what my team does. Um, where do we find the teams in the organization? So uh, it's it's a Swiss company, and we're very proud that we're we have a very flat hierarchy. So if you can see now from the top, we're actually on the third level already. Um, the red ones is our team. So I'm the one, uh, I have the team in costing and pricing in the middle. And on the left side, there are two. Maybe, Es, can you want to say something about your team just quickly here? Yes, sure. So uh, as you can see, I have two, two red boxes. One box is responsible on global level for, for elevator doors. So I have there uh, on every continent a corresponding uh, person. Uh, reporting to me uh, on this topic. And then I have a, re a regional category uh, buyers located in, uh, in the plants uh, and taking care about having the best uh, partners uh, in Europe itself. Yeah. So uh, as you know, we are basically we're dealing with uh, a lot of money, millions of money, and uh, it's all eyes on us now. 
to make sure that the company is profitable and that we continue to, to drive uh, sustainable, profitable growth. So um, I'm coming now a bit more to what purchasing uh, does and what uh, what kind of idea we have within Schindler from purchasing, what purchasing should do. It's not only about uh, getting the money from the suppliers and trying to negotiate and reduce costs. It's far more uh, in purchasing. So you see here, let's say the six uh, pillars of strategic pur purchasing. So one, one thing is uh, optimizing the supply base, having the right suppliers, the right partners, uh, close to our factories um, and collaborating in the best manner together, then managing uh, those suppliers. So it's not only finding them, it's also about um, working together with them, uh, managing a possible risk. As you can imagine, a kind of a supply chain like we have is, is steadily uh, object to, to certain risks in terms of pandemic risks, in terms of, um, let's say, supply might get bankrupt. So this we, we have to manage within uh, the team. Then we check also for global potentials and gl global pot uh, possibilities. So this is also part of our job, as you can ima imagine. Then of course, we have the total quality management practice. We are not lo looking only for the money. We see also the quality be behind a, a Swiss product. And green purchasing, I, you saw before the examples we did, we try to enhance both being um, commercially efficient, but also on the same side, being green and sustainable. Thank you. That's right. So um, I saw, as I said, a lot of people have their own ideas, a kind of cliche about what purchasing does. So you see also how over the past only five years, uh, the needed uh, skills massively changed within purchasing. So as you can see, um, Negotiations from 2015, where it was still in, in the mid midfield, um, moved even further down. So it's now uh, ranked at the ninth uh, uh, position, the pure negotiation skill. What is more important, um, and this uh, especially also in Schindler, is uh, pure creativity. Because you cannot only go to the supplier asking every, every year for some discounts. Earlier or later, the glass is empty. <laughs> So you need to be creative together with the supplier and with your stakeholders and partners to see what other solutions do we have to improve quality and improve costs. So that's why the creativity is one of the essential parts where we, we look for creative and innovative people who are thinking critical about what we do and what we see. That's Thanks. right, exactly. So we need to, um, not only being an engineer, we need to also be creative and to think out of the box. Um, to have no constraints in, in, in your imagination to generate ideas. You know? So that's uh, for us is the most important two aspects. So have ideas, be creative, go wild with your, with your thoughts, with your uh, thinking, and also be able to work in a, with people. Teamwork is uh, the this, this one only to drive uh, topics in the company. So when it comes to being creative, uh, we use, for example, this, uh, a priori, it's a, it's a program that we uh, model um, the elevators in 3D. And so here you can be really creative uh, and you can try to try different modeling and you can try to uh, use this model to come with the uh, cost saving, optimization, design change, all kinds of uh, trials that you can use in this program, a priori. And then when it comes to working with people, um, because we have a complex, company, we have a complex system, complex product, and we don't need more complexity. We need someone who can simplify simplify the situation, even if it's a complex, chaotic, um, multi-complex problem, we need to simplify and to solve it and to, to make a decision. And so just to show you a very rapid picture, there are more, uh, but just to, this is just a very rough idea. These are all the let's say stakeholders or business partners that we work with on a daily basis. So we have, um, you can see here, many of the departments we need to talk to, we need to get the information from, you need to communicate, you need to negotiate, to discuss and to come to a conclusion or come to a, a solution, how to solve a certain complex problem. So you need to be able to work with people. All right. So coming to the third part, it's what we can offer you. 
uh, if you um, if you come to this uh, development uh, program with us. So we have um, four different platforms. Um, for now, this is just an idea. Of course, this can be uh, also uh, uh, discussed if there is other interest. But what we can now offer is pricing, purchasing, and costing. That's uh, our teams. And an idea would be uh, two stages in Switzerland, so where we can do costing, uh, sorry, pricing, and then purchasing uh, activities or topics, and then uh, going to Locano, where we have a plant there, we can do some costing uh, initiatives topics, and then going last to DSW, so in Slovakia, to do costing and then with any position in our plant there. That's, this could be an idea how this development uh, program look like. Anything to add there? No? Fully agree with you. So it will be fun. You will, you will uh, travel around, you will see the different plants, you will uh, get to know a lot of people and stakeholders. So. Mm -hmm. it, it will be fun and interesting. Yes, yes. All right, so we're half an hour through. Now the rest of the half hour, let's go into the questions. I see that you were very active with your questions. So what I will do, I will maybe go from the top questions uh, step by step down and see what we can do uh, on replying most of them. Hopefully the timer will be enough to reply them. So let's see the first one, which are the Schindler's most important customer countries. So um, if we speak about Europe, which should be currently our focal point, um, it's um, who might imagine it's Switzerland. We're a Swiss company. And so Switzerland is um, one of our main customer countries. Um, Germany and uh, France, Italy uh, and Spain. These are more or less our, 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 our uh, main countries. So it's uh, Central Europe, let's say. Yeah. Um, so, um, what would you say is unique about Schindler's supply chain? Oh, interesting question. <laughs> what is unique about Schindler's supply chain? You have to imagine, I think one very important topic is you as a customer can order today an elevator and uh, within five weeks, you have it in front of your door. So, so just imagine within five weeks, placing an order with all the complex configuration, we produce it internally within very few weeks and organize the transport up to your uh, building and construction site. If you look to the automobile, um, automotive industry, um, this, uh, this takes more or less six months. So this is one very impressive thing. It's speed. It's about speed and it, it's about being precise with this high level of customization you have in the elevator. Maybe, JY, something you want to add? I was just going to say this, uh, it's much faster than the sofa that I ordered. <laughs> so, and it's also important not losing in all this uh, speed uh, the head and being still uh, very focused on the topics. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are steadily trying to improve. And and uh, we, we don't say five weeks is enough. <laughs> we even striving for being faster. Yeah. So, so it's this is one important thing, and trying to make the complex things simple. That's why you you need to be innovative and creative. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, what competition do you value the most? Hmm. So, what competition do you value the most? In external competition or internal competition? No, no, it's uh, only competition in general. It's not about internal or exter external. It's, uh, uh, well, then it's, in general, if I look to competition, you need competition to improve. And you need to measure yourself always with the best to, to strive to be, uh, to be the best. So competition is healthy and mm -hmm. competition is helping everybody uh, to improve. And at the end, it's helping also the customer to get the best product. So I see the questions are now popping in like it's like 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 a dead stock ex exchange. So what makes we Schindler stand out among other employers? Okay. So what do you think, uh, Chiwei? You have, you have joined recently Supply Chain Europe. What makes Schindler stand out among other employers? It's a it's a fantastic company to work. 
uh, a lot to do, a lot of challenges. Makes your head spin when you go home at the end of the day, but you also have it in your own hands. And you can, it's a, it's a people oriented company. So you need to, if you need to, if you can get people on board, you can, you have a good idea to, and you can sell the idea, then the stage is yours. You can drive it. Yeah. And I think, I think what is, makes also the difference, um, also, although you have all this size as Schindler with, with, with more than 70,000 employees and uh, such a huge turnover, mm-hmm. it's still a family owned company and right. you feel, and you feel this family spirit. Yeah. So this is uh, quite important to know, and this very low uh, hierarchy we, we we have, where you can uh, speak with nearly uh, all the levels quite quite easily. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, and also maybe add something here. Me and Özkan, we are come, we are very often we get into fights when it comes to negotiation with the suppliers, costing, purchasing, uh, but still when it comes to you know making a decision, when it comes to driving a certain saving, we are on the same boat. Mm. And that's this family spirit, this team spirit. Mm. Exactly. So I see also a question related to, to our current situation or the, the global situation we have since more than one year now is about how does the does building industries crisis affect your operation? Um, well, honestly, I have to say there's no building industries crisis. Yeah. So building industries industry. Uh, throughout the complete 2020 and also currently um, went quite stable. Uh, So it was uh, acting against uh, this crisis we had during pandemic. So we even um, are seeing a positive trend. So Mm -hmm. building building, um, industry is growing and therefore also elevator industry uh, went quite uh, good uh, through this pandemic year of 2020. And this the first, uh, also the first half of this year seems quite um, quite optimistic. Yeah, it's not like because uh, I was in the automotive industry before, and when the recession hits us, then uh, you you notice it dramatically. But mm-hmm. here, actually, Shinda was just uh, uh, how do you say this? We were declared as the the the, the essential industry because uh, in the end, without elevators, especially for high risers or big buildings, without elevators, people don't get around. And especially old people or disabled people, they need elevators to be able to move at all. Mm. So we are very stable. Mm. I see here two questions, which for me are more or less linked. So that's why I want to combine them. One question is how many people are you planning to hire for this program? And what different roles do you offer currently? So for this program, we are looking um, for a good, for a few good, creative, innovative people um, who want to grow, who want to learn, who want to act with a creative uh, with a creative team. So this is what we're looking for, and um, and and these are also the uh, the roles. So we, we look a lot on the fact that people see a lot of different departments and uh, of different roles. So transmitting them, moving them from one role to the next one, you transmit also your know-how among the, among the complete organization. So I'm trying to reply to this question in this sense. I don't know, Chewai, uh, if you want to add something. No, it's good. It's good. What answer? So, any question you find interesting, Chewai? <laughs> there are so many questions popping up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So so it's really do we have a lot of time? Yeah. Yes. If we go from the top, we'll never get to the to the bottom. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, ah. So, what are the most interesting technologies de- uh, deployed at Schindler? Um, well, let me say, I cannot speak about all of them. <laughs> the most interesting ones are still to come. That's why we need good creative people. But there are a lot of digitization uh, topics um, and uh, means we're using. Um, so within our, let's speak about our production. Let's say within our production, the the, the, the most advanced technologies are, are welding robots we have in our plants. Um, we have highly automized laser machines, uh, which is uh, another thing. Um, and as I said, the, the big innovative uh, parts on the elevator, uh, they are still to come. 
uh, and they are waiting for creative people uh, to to roll, the, roll them out together with us. Okay, so let me see how do you support your staff. There's a, a question, the two questions I can combine. Yes, please. Do you often make business trips to the headquarters in Switzerland? And another one is, is it possible to do home office action? So it's about this mobility topic. Huh? Mm -hmm. In the end, um, you are you have the freedom to act. And uh, if you see a need to go to headquarters in Switzerland in Epicon or to go to Locarno to our electric, elect, uh, electric component plant or to go to... Uh, um, our uh, plant in Epicon need for meeting, just go. Mm -hmm. Basically, talk to your supervisor that uh, that you have uh, this meeting, this need to go there to meet the people to have the meeting. Then uh, there's no nothing that would uh, stop you mm -hmm. uh, if you if you have if you see the need to drive a topic, mm -hmm. uh, which is important for your project. You can always do business travel and also the same thing with home office. I mean, now, nowadays it's anyway a different situation because uh, because of the uh, Corona COVID. Uh, most of us now are doing home office to to protect each other, uh, to reduce the the, the risk. But otherwise, if you need to, where you are undisturbed, you need to work on Excel or PowerPoint. You need to be home. Uh, we are always flexible. We off, we do we do offer the flexibility. Uh, we also expect the mobility of the employees mm -hmm. to do business travels when there's need. Correct. So I fully agree there. Let's say if, if I speak also about, let's say, hopefully this soon arriving uh, post-pandemic um, uh, phase, uh, we're not visiting only uh, the, the different plants or the headquarters. We, especially within uh, the purchasing team, we are visiting a lot of the suppliers and not right. only the offices. We, we want to see what we are buying. So it's also important within the team to understand the product, not seeing only some figures, some prices, uh, some uh, volumes, but understanding the production, the complexity behind, behind the production, and the learning from the processes of the supply uh, of the supplier and the know-how of the supplier. So this is very welcome to 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 also for the growth of the of the people. Mm -hmm. So it's a pity I cannot even ask if, if we have all uh, answered the questions for uh, as the the person who who, who wrote them. If if they're happy with the answer. But okay, this is like this. We hope we do, we do our best. <laughs> we do our best. Yeah. There's a question that is uh, probably for me. What is the most in interesting thing about working at costing and pricing? The most interesting thing. Um, I don't. I don't think this is quite common. I don't think you find this kind of opportunity in many places that you actually can work at costing and pricing at the same time. Usually you have uh, engineers that work on the costing side or plants that work on the costing side, and then you have those financial guys or the sales guys, marketing guys that work on the pricing side. And in my team, we have actually both. So we actually really link end to end from the R&D part, we, we take it over, we do the costing, should costing, and we, we define the cost target. And then we follow it up until it's a, it's a, ready to, to sell or to go into zero production. And then we do the pricing strategy. We apply this pricing strategy, which is also implemented by our team. Um, and then we apply the price and then we give it to the market. So basically you have it in, you know, end to end, you have it in your own hands. How do you define the price? How do you define track costs uh, level? How are you making sure that you're competitive and that the company, the, 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 the market organization out there can sell your, your your product at this price with this cost. And so in the end, you have this profitability really uh, under your own own hands. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say under control. We're still, we're still working on it. But uh, this is, this is, this is uh, the most interesting for me that you have really from end to end. And you can see it through, you know. I, I see two questions which seems to be uh, stay on the top. So I will try to combine both. Mm -hmm. so, so the first question is, do you pay your staff for overtimes? Seems to be interesting. And do you offer language courses for your staff? So uh, at the end, we want to develop our uh, the teams. The, the staff who's joining Schindler should be developed. 
um, not uh, only for the terms of paying overtime, but that you take over responsibility uh, also in the managing role. Uh, so this is the, the way we let you grow. We, off, we offer courses and, and it's part of the journey that you learn. You have language course, courses, you have, you have purchasing uh, enabling courses. So a lot of uh, things where we see, where, where, when we see a gap to, uh, together with each other, uh, where we need to improve, we will improve it together. So these courses are, are, are regularly and we are, are very much promoted also internally. So. Uh, How is the relationship between Shinda HQ and country branches? Hmm. The relationship. Uh, I mean, it's kind of just uh, feel free to jump in because you yeah. have more, many, many more years than me at this company. <laughs> But uh, what I see is because we define the prices for, for our country branches, in the end, they need to be able to sell it. So I, I cannot put the price too high. They cannot sell. I cannot put the price too low. Then we lose money. So for, for me, the country branches is, is, is like, it's like a partner and it's also a customer. I need to make sure that they're, they're happy that we, we can produce, or let's say we can get the, the products that they need to drive the sales to them in time, in a good quality, with a good price level. And so it's, it's a customer. It's also a partner. Exactly. So we don't see the, the the headquarter as let's say this black box defining what the others have to do. Mm -hmm. We see them as partners. For, the, for for us, there's not the headquarter. They are our, our colleagues sitting yeah. in Abicon where the where the headquarter is. So we're working together uh, uh, on uh, looking to each other into the eyes on the same level. So. Mm -hmm. It's not, let's say, the headquarter decides and we, we do. No, it's a, yeah. it's a give and take and we're working on the yeah. same level with each other. Yes, exactly. It's an exchange. So, how do you support your staff concerning uh, the pandemics? Uh, it's, it's a very important and good question. So, we were supporting, as also Chiawai mentioned before, we promote home office, of course, now even even more. So we uh, we try to protect the people through uh, through home office, to distribute uh, uh, masks regularly, uh, provide all the necessary means to protect themselves and also uh, the families. Um, so these are the main things we're trying to do and uh, and to support our uh, our people on on this matter. Mm -hmm. We and this is also the reason why, unfortunately, myself, who, who was working now since years in purchasing, I cannot even travel. So we try also to avoid a bit this this um, interlocation traveling, unfortunately. But hope, as I said, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, and, and hopefully soon, in a few weeks, we are again uh, able to to travel, and after a few months, maybe even like we did in 2019. So. Um, work at Schindler Slovakia. So how many how many people from abroad work at Schindler Slovakia? <laughs> so I think uh, we have quite um, Schindler Slovakia or let's uh, let's call, we call it uh, Dunasta Dunasta uh, Streda works um, became now more and more and you see you saw the the development of uh, of, of, uh, of our plant. Uh, our center of gravity in terms of mechanical production and also know-how. So we are concentrating steadily uh, more know-how uh, 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 there. And from abroad, that's that's why we have a lot of different departments uh, from R&D, uh, from Indu, coming from the headquarter, from uh, from France and so on, being regularly fixed in, in Dunaska uh, Streda uh, to learn, uh, to develop together, to train the people. So I would say we have regularly at least at least uh, 20 people. And when the pandemic is over, even more uh, in Dunaska Spreda, not from abroad, but mainly from, from other countries. We have sometimes some uh, guests who, who want to understand how, uh, how we are improving, how we are uh, producing, because it's a kind of role model uh, mechanical plant. Uh, uh, they are regularly visiting then also Dunaska Spreda works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Joey, any question which popped up to you, which you see? Um, looking through, um, how many people work with uh, our team? So it's uh, it's, it's growing, uh, but at the moment it's eight. And yours, let's go. My team is also uh, nine uh, in Europe. And let, as said, in, in other continents, in my global role, I have further three people uh, directly working also for me. 
Do you regularly test your staff for COVID-19? I mean, we are an international company. We have different uh, locations. And uh, usually it's then based on the different location or the country where the plant is located. We try to follow the local regulation and the local advices from the government. So it depends on the on the, uh, the location of the of the place. So, uh, what kind of vocational activities do you offer to your staff? Hmm. Vocational activities. So, um, well, at, at the end of the day, uh, we 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 know uh, the the staff is having a different football uh, soccer team. Uh, especially in, in, uh, in Dunaska and, and also our branches around the, the KGs, so around our, our countries. And we even have uh, normally on yearly basis a uh, football tournament on this. So what kind of bonuses do you have uh, top the primary salary? Um, this is from, um, from location to location um, different. Yeah. It, 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 it depends. I cannot give you a rule uh, and I don't want to say anything wrong. Um, what I can say, good performance we see and is also uh, uh, paid in a certain way. So this is always the case. Yeah. Uh, what different roles do you offer currently? I guess this goes to general Shinda. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Then please check our website. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As, as said, we're looking for creative, open-minded people mm -hmm. uh, uh, striving us forward. And so, as said, uh, if you look to the teams of purchasing, they're not typical purchasing people uh, counting only uh, in front of Excel or whatever. They're trying to be technical. So we're looking for for creative, innovative people, steadily everywhere. Right. Right. Because that also answers the question here. There's one, uh, I'm a hardware engineer. Would you have a job for me? Well, that question is also the answered. Um, um, my, my study, I actually studied uh, signal processing, nothing to do with elevator, but uh, still it really depends on in the end, your, your, your um, creativity, your, uh, your ideas, how you solve problems, how you deal with uh, with issues and how do you uh, have a put a red thread, implement changes, and drive the people mm. all together? Mm. As that the matrix that we just showed earlier, that's much more important than the the, the degrees that you have, of course. Mm. And, and of course, as you said, um, as you mentioned, Chairway. So you're a hardware hardware engineer. We have a lot of engineers also in the purchasing team. So the big advantage is uh, within supply chain, within purchasing and costing, you can directly impact the product development. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, R&D is not developing, let's say something, uh, drops it over to, to purchasing and to costing, say, now do your job. It's not like this. It's effectively uh, the, uh, the other way, way around. So we are working so much close together with R&D to, to develop the product that we know that we can offer it at, at a good price, that we can source it uh, in, in a good manner. So they are also asking a lot of our own know-how to develop the best product. So at the very early st stage, we can develop products together, which maybe will be then rolled out after two or three years even. Mm -hmm. So that's why engineering uh, knowledge and creativity is a must. Yeah, definitely gives you gives you an edge, yes. Mm. So... All right. Um, my, my, do you often make business trips to the headquarters in Switzerland? Oh, that one we just answered. Yeah. It, earlier. It was, exactly. We, if we do it need. sometimes. If there's a yeah. need, we, we do it sometimes to meet each other. But it's not because it's the headquarters. It's because a lot of people are there meeting together. And this is yeah. the only reason. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what kind of team building do you prefer? Very general, very general question. Kind of okay. team building. I mean, uh, so. the activity where you 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 facilitate the team spirit, where you get you always have a dynamic in the team. Uh, different people. They some people they 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 have this. Uh, they, they click right away. They know how to communicate with each other. Communication is a big topic. And some people, especially in finance or maybe engineers who are a little bit, maybe not so good with, with words. Uh, sometimes it's, you are not communicating on the same 
wavelength. And so team building for me is in a way to get people to, to communicate, to find how to talk to a certain people, how to get the buy-in from, from your stakeholders. Mm. And that is for me one aspect of doing a team building. Mm. And, and I think what is quite important as uh, also adding to this point, let's say you're, you're passing around seven to eight hours per day uh, at the job. So yeah. you should enjoy it. You should have fun, and we are promoting right. to 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 like your to like your job to put yourself into into your job, your own part, um, and having this part of, of innovation, creativity to show that you can create something and and see it also. So it's um, it's quite the team building topic is is very important to have also the spirit uh, of working together of creating something new. Mm -hmm. So um, quite important. Oh, it is. It is. So I, I see it's 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 reducing. So three more. You you can decide uh, which road to go, Chiwei. <laughs> Why doesn't Schindler Slovakia have social media profiles of its own? Unfortunately, I can answer this question. But it's a good question, and we will definitely speak with IT about it. <laughs> we'll take this up. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, the right people are listening now within Schindler. <laughs> Okay. Um, what is the net salary? Uh, what is the entry level net salary at purchasing? Um, difficult to answer. It depends really on on your know how, on your profile. Uh, mm -hmm. As said, um, a lot of people are looking to the entry level of the net salary. Far more important is which way you can go and how fast you can go. The entry level is only the entry level. Um, if um, if you let's say uh, add the right value and find your way within Schindler very easily, this entry level is there for one one and a half year, and then you you do your step forward. And this can go as you saw before us in the organization chart. This can go qu quite quickly. So yeah. don't choose a, a job based only on the on the entry level. It's it's something only you have for one year or for for even less. So. Yeah. But I don't think that that Schindler is such a bad employer in, in this matter. Yeah, you need to look long term. It's mm. more important that you find that you feel you feel happy, you feel satisfied. End of the day, when you, when you do this job, you take this job in this company that you can work with the people. You can identify yourself in this company with the products that we produce. Mm. You stand behind it, and that's much more satisfying than the salary itself. Mm. And bottom line is, we have fair, we have defined let's say, compensation guidelines. Mm. So we always compare our salary level with, with the market. We make sure that we pay our people well, fair among the people. And so um, it's all predefined and, and uh, regulated. Mm. Fully agree on this. No, and, and you have to, to consider also as employer, we, it's a stable uh, company, a stable business. You saw it also mm. uh, over the, the past one and a half years where automotive would be happy Having let's say this uh, this development like we had in, uh, in in the last one and a half years. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you can choose the next question, Chiwa. <laughs> Do you people get motivation or innovation premiums? If um, if I get the question correctly, I mean. It, it, it's, it is a team leader's uh, responsibility, I think, to, to, to motiv motivate our people, people. Um, and to create, I say, to, to make sure the working environment is, 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 is get, getting the best out of people and to, to, to have a place, a working environment where you can be innovative. So it's mm -hmm. not you know, everything is great. You know, it, it should be, it should be you know, maybe not like Google or so, but still uh, to have an environment where you can feel creative, that you're encouraged to be creative. So it is our our responsibility. Uh, do you get premium? I would I wouldn't say I don't not in the sense of premium in the sense of a compensation, but it's more um, if you have good ideas, you 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 do have the encouragement, you do have the support and the team behind you to, to drive it because in the end you can see the results you can you can create impact mm. and also due to this very low um, 
uh, very narrow hierarchy we have, uh, mm. inno innovation and creativity is seen also on senior level uh, management uh, quite quite quickly. So this you have then a kind of short term premium there might be within your uh, yearly bonus, whatever, this is only the short term, yeah. but the long term is much more important because you can make yourself very uh, quickly visible and mm -hmm. then getting uh, promoted. So this is, I think, more the topic uh, people should strive for saying, okay, there's some sh short term, uh, let's say, uh, premium, but the more important is you're visible. And with, especially within the, in Dunaska Australia, due to the, a lot of uh, people and, and management and senior management people also being regularly in, 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 in Dunaska Strada in the plant, you're quite good visible uh, to those. And innovation is always welcomed and it's always, um, let's say, quite public within Schindler when, uh, mm -hmm. when there's innovation, when there are good ideas. Uh, yeah. So it's very welcome and it's i think there's also quite a good benefit short and long term benefit on this mm -hmm. thank you that's a very good point uh that that gives you 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 do have the chance to 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 take the stage uh, also was also in meetings where with, with you know very top management and one of my team member had a very good idea ask her to come and to present her idea directly to the to the top management team it immediately create yeah visibility and you you are heard you are seen in the company doesn't matter how where you are from which team you're from you directly can have a direct communication with top management and i think that's much much more satisfying than anything else yeah. fully agree yeah. don't tell me we are right on time we are <laughs> seems, one seems of the rare meetings <laughs> so uh there aren't any questions. So what can we do to make uh, to make the joint uh, joint Schindler now? <laughs> well, I hope uh, we, yeah, I hope we, we could uh, answer the questions and to and through our presentation that you get a, a, a good feeling. The, the, the whole thing is very complex behind. It's a big company, you have many teams, many stakeholders, mm. but still you can have a good feeling of what you're mm. signing up for. Mm. And we do hope that gets you interest and uh, mm. yeah, and, and and you're right. As as said, we as as being being a family owned uh, company. Although we are so huge uh, in terms of turnover and and, and, and people and, and employees, it's still you feel you have you you we are acting in the speed and the agility like a smaller mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. decisions are not taking three, four, five, six levels till they are taking that right. taken quite quite quick. Because with this, within this industry, speed is everything. So mm -hmm. the good thing is you can have a very good idea. You don't need to wait for months over months till the decision is taken. It's taken quite quite quickly. And you get maybe by, by stepping only about uh, above one, two or three levels, you're already arriving to the board. So it can it can happen that after one year you maybe do to, you're speaking directly to a board member and you and and he sees even or she sees even the ideas you you had. So I think this is also a very important aspect about Schindler that mm -hmm. it's a big company, but acting nevertheless in the speed and the agility like a like a medium-sized company. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and especially uh, and and Dunaska Street has, uh, uh, becomes always more and more a kind of, of of family where where everybody wants to support to make it grow to to make processes leaner to 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 try always the most innovative technologies the most innovative tech. Uh, uh, new tools, so um, it's like a kind of innovation park where all the creative heads are, are coming together. So, and I'm looking forward to uh, finally being again able to travel. Look, uh, I have I have uh, the biggest share of my team is sitting in, in Dunaska Streda. I'm I'm currently blocked in uh, in Berlin in Germany, and hopefully I will be able soon to 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 visit them again. And ha having them only virtually connected is. Is nice for a certain period, but after after some mm. time, it's better to have again this this connection with them. I can only fully agree. Okay, I guess our time is up. No questions left. So, with this, we can close it, huh? And exactly. uh, we have a next uh, next session. Uh, another two, three colleagues of ours will take up the next session. Enjoy it. Ask questions. Be curious, yeah. and hopefully see you soon. Thank you very much. Yes, thank have you. A, have a nice, nice evening. Bye-bye.
拜拜。